Hey guys, so today we have a new custom ROM for our Redmi Note 8. This time we have a Rising OS. I did try Rising OS very very long time ago. It was not really great. But this time it's kind of okay. This is a beta version of Rising OS. Rising OS 5.0 based on Android 14. And this ROM doesn't come with GF so you have to flash GF separately. But it's a really good ROM for few things and it's a really bad ROM for few things. So we are going to check out this ROM and let's find out what we are getting with this ROM. So as you can see the ROM is booted up. We'll unlock the device and first of all we will check our Android version and security batch level. By the way I have been using this ROM 2-3 days now. I did try out everything as much as possible for me. So first of all going to the setting and rising OS. So if I go down here Android version. So if I go Android version as you can see here rising OS. Xiaomi device 8 Jinko and Android 14 Rising OS version 5.0 The security patch level is August 5, 2024 Rather than that, there is nothing much going on And going back So the UI is beautiful The setting UI is beautiful and you can change it It looks good So all the settings are here And if you want to customize your device You can go to personalization And you can change the theme and other things And also if you go to toolbox section There are a few more things like button full screen, game space, gestures, navigation, security, spoofing. So if you go to spoofing, we have spoof option, we have Google Apps spoofing and also we do have unlimited storage for Google Photos. So that's also viable. Now this ROM also got few other tricks. Like if you go down, you got a smart pixel option. So if you enable a smart pixel, so as you can see here, it turns off the pixel of the display. So it's going to consume less battery. So if you are in emergency where you need battery backup, but your battery is pretty low, so you can turn on this option. It's going to reduce the battery consumption. So like now, you can choose actually up to 50% also. So you can choose. Uh, I did try this feature on other ROMs. Most of the ROMs actually doesn't work with this feature, but on this ROM, it's working. Going back, there are a few other things you can do with the UI, like theme and other things. And in the display section, we do have auto brightness and other things. Those are working. Dark mode also available. If I go to dark mode, you can use dark theme, directly dark theme. As you can see black theme style very black true amulet dark so you can choose between the dark if you want grayish dark or completely dark like amulet panel and we do have night light so there is another feature called desktop mode so as you can see here if you go to desktop mode on pc you can connect your device to your pc and also you have to download a software called from this link and you can use your device like samsung does so like samsung's desk mode so you can choose between resolution and other things i did try it but it is kind of buggy right now so it doesn't work properly but the feature is there double tap to work double tap to sleep all those things are working in the wallpaper and style as you can see we do have shortcuts and other things option and if you go to more wallpaper we do have a lot of wallpapers here actually so you can choose but there is no ai wallpaper option here battery the battery backup is really good on this ROM and I have been using this ROM, it's kind of amazing the battery backup I'm getting from this ROM. You can get easily 8 hours of screen on time if you use for like Facebooking or watching YouTube, you can get that actually. But if you play games, maybe 4 to 5 hours of screen on time you can get from this ROM. And also we do have all the features like in charging control, adaptive charging and also controlling the other things. So all those things are available. So kind of amazing in terms of battery. Sound and vibration, all those things are working as you can see here. No issue. And location is working. Safety and emergency, password, and Google. And if you go to security and privacy, both face unlock and fingerprint unlock are available. And I did not find any kind of issue with like, if you keep your device and it takes time to unlock anything like that i haven't found on this rom it works every time and face unlock also there but it is pretty slow even in broad daylight also it is pretty slow so it's kind of unusable but both of them works actually in terms of other things if you go to system we do have xiaomi parts option and if you want to calibrate your display you can do that but in default setting the display actually pretty much good i have been watching youtube for five or six hours but 
I did not see any major retention. Retention was there, but it was not major. So in default also it is pretty much usable. Going back, in terms of setting, there is nothing much. And in terms of staffs like application and other things, as you can see here, there is nothing much going on. So the camera, there is no MIUI camera. So if I open the camera, the camera does work, but the UI is not really that great as you can see here. It is pretty much weird UI. The scaling is not good, but camera works. I could not able to install Gcam because there is issue with file manager. So if I open file manager, so as you can see, it cannot load any kind of content. I don't really know why the issue is there. So it's kind of unusable, but you can install file manager. As you can see here, I did install file manager and it is working. But the problem is that whenever I try to download something, I cannot find the file in the storage, although it is downloading the file, but I cannot find the file. So that is the issue with this ROM, kind of major issue for this ROM. Rather than that, if I check the safety net, safety net is also not there, so run safety net. So as you can see, fail, safety net is fail. And if I go to play store certification and about, so as you can see, there is no play protect certification, but that is not really that much issue. You can still install everything, no issue with that. The ROM is smooth and in terms of gaming, it is doing pretty well actually. It is not really sluggish like the last two ROMs I have reviewed. It is pretty much playable game, so you can still play games here, no issue. And the performance of the ROM is pretty good actually, it's pretty smooth. It is smooth like Evolution X actually and everything works flawlessly no issue with that the major issue as i said is with the file manager you cannot download anything for some reason rather than that the rom is working and for a better rom it's a pretty good rom actually it works it is smooth and it got a lot of features and it got all the essential features face unlock and fingerprint unlock both of them working i can't really recommend this rom to anyone right now but if anyone wants to try this rom you can try it the ROM link will be in the description below but I think you should wait for the official uh, release of this ROM it will be much more usable like there will be no major bugs like file manager and other things so that's all about raising OS for Redmi Note 8 thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one